Welcome back, Seth Bling here. And today I want to show you a data pack I made for Minecraft 1.13. It's a Polaroid photo system that's just a single click to use. So here I've already taken a picture of this little shipwreck with some hills in the background, there's some sand. You'll notice that a lot of those details, most of those details are captured in this uh, photo. And all I had to do was right click on a map to create it. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you how the system works and I'll do that by taking another picture and slowing it down to show you what's going on as it takes the picture. So I've already kind of set up another scene here. This does work anywhere. I just thought this one looked kind of nice. I built a little house down there and everything. Um, so to use it, you just right click an unused map and you point the direction that you want to take the picture and you right click the unused map and then select the, the new map. And so the first thing we'll notice is there's a bunch of armor stands. And so to, I'm going to slow this way down by typing in this command. And you'll notice now it's much, much slower. So we have three armor stands. This one's the source. This one's, I'm, call, I'm going to call it the pixel. And that one's the ray. And the ray actually moves a lot, you can see. Uh, this is a principle called ray casting, where you pick a direction and then uh, cast a ray like this until it hits something. And then you do something with that. In this case, I can show you what's going on. Uh, if I go over here, you can see the old shipwreck scene being replaced pixel by pixel with the new scene. And it's a little bit hard to see where exactly the progress is right now. If I speed it back up, by maybe like a little bit like that, you can see it uh, drawing, you can see it drawing, uh, it's like scanning across the screen, drawing pixel by pixel. So let's slow it back down. Um, so so uh, if I go back over here, the armor stands are scanning uh, scanning through a plane pixel by pixel to figure out what uh, pixel and basically what sorry what color each pixel is. So this armor stand looks over here at this other armor stand and then it casts a ray in that direction. And when that armor stand hits something like say a tree trunk or a you know, piece of dirt, it clones it to the appropriate pixel over in that mapping area. And that mapping area is what actually gets mapped here. Uh, so this uses a couple of really cool features that are new in 1.13. Um, one is you can make an entity look at another entity. So if I speed this up again, <clears throat> let's go back to speed 100, you can see this guy turning to face this other guy. And so there's actually a command that's very easy to run that just lets you have one entity face another entity. And so as I move this guy around, uh, this guy is going to look at him. And that's pretty cool. Uh, the other really useful thing is uh, it's called local coordinates. And so if I, if I teleport myself uh, uh, like this with hat, hat, hat one, uh, I go one block in the direction that I'm pointing. And that's pretty cool. That's useful for a lot of things. Uh, in fact, that's how the ray tracer works. Uh, it's uh, the ray. The ray looks in the same direction that the armor stand here, the source, is currently pointing, and it just constantly does that until it detects that it's hit a block, and then it copies the block. Um, but you can you don't have to go straight forward. There's three coordinates. You can also go up or down, and you can also go uh, left or right. And so what this guy is doing is he's actually um, he he's facing the same direction that I was facing originally. Uh, but he's just moving left, right, up, and down. So he moved forward by five blocks, and now he's moving um, sort of like across this plane. And this plane is sort of like the viewing plane. You can imagine it like a rectangular window, or actually a square window, uh, that you could that you would see this scenery through. And that square window translates to the pixels that end up going into the map. And so if I speed it back up, uh, here we go, speed 100, you'll see that he scans across he's actually staying within a single plane he's not like it's not like he's moving along a sphere or anything but he also moves down slightly each each uh, after each row and that's because well he's he's marking out the different rows of the uh, the final image and you can see him moving down more and more now um, but yeah and as he as he traces out all the different pixels uh, that we want to look at the ray cast is going in the direction of those pixels and this is how this is how ray casting works and is made very easy by a few of the kind of specialized commands that they've added to Minecraft in recent versions. And so as I speed this back up, we'll watch it draw the rest of the map. If you let it go at full speed, it generally takes about 30 seconds to draw a map, though it depends 
sort of how far away you are from the scenery because it takes the ray less time to trace it out if it's uh, closer to the scenery that you're taking a picture of. And once it's done, it's going to center me above the um, above the mapping area. Now, this isn't displaying the correct information. For some reason, I found that you just have to save and reload the the map in order to. I, I don't know why. There's some bug in Minecraft, but uh, but now we can see that there's uh, well all this stuff down there got translated onto the map, and now we have a Polaroid. So I'm going to go back over, and you can compare for yourself uh, what it looks like. Um, but yeah, it's like super easy to use this. It's really cool actually that you can like get a, almost like a screenshot of what's going on. Obviously it doesn't include things like textures or lighting, but I'll, I'll kind of swap back and forth here a couple of times so you can sort of see all the details and, and what's going on. But you can see there's quite a lot of detail. It, obviously the lighting isn't so good. There's like the waterfall in the background is, is there. That looks, all the shapes are basically right. But, um, yeah, actually, you know, I haven't really tried taking a, a close-up picture of something. Let's try taking a close-up picture of something, and it should be really fast. How about uh, this tree right here? So I'm, I'm going to intentionally kind of point down so that it, uh, it uh, doesn't have much distance to travel. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going a bit faster. It's scanning through a bit faster. You can see <laughs> there's not quite so much detail in the picture. Um, yeah, you can actually kind of see the, the corner of of a block like that because I was pointing down at a sharp angle and there's kind of a lot of sand too so <laughs> not not that interesting of a picture but it's actually you can see it's a lot faster if uh, if you're really close to it and that's mostly what I wanted to demonstrate if you want to try it out for yourself there is a link in the video description to the zip file that is well it's the data pack so you put that zip file in the data packs folder of of your minecraft installation and it'll uh, yeah it'll just it'll just run um, you just uh, right click on a map and, and it'll it'll do all this. So check it out and thanks for watching.